Hi, Leho Neighborinos, and welcome to a Suck It Martha Quickie with me, Karen. Um, while I'm in the process of filming and editing my upcoming Halloween decorations and holly days uh, episodes, I would like to leave you with a, a cute little Pinterest activity I found very, very easy. And for all of those of you out there who bake or uh, like giving baked goods for presents or housewarmings, etc. This one is actually a lot of fun. Let's take a look at all the items you're going to need for this particular activity. So what fantastical things do we need for today's activity? Well, you're gonna go march your little butt to the dollar store and you are going to pick up tissue paper. Um, if you can, try and find the ones in very, very bold colors and patterns. They are the best for this particular activity. I picked up orange and uh, some lovely green and purple polka dots. You are going to need some wax paper. It does not matter what brand. Um, all brands are the same when it comes to this. Wax paper is your deal. However, don't use parchment paper. Okay, there's a big difference between wax and parchment paper. You want the wax paper. You are going to need a pair of scissors. Scissors are important, not only for this particular activity, but according to my mother, always keep a pair handy near the bed to attack intruders with. I have no idea why. And uh, also then a very, very hot iron. So if you get all those things assembled, let's move to the next step. Okay, so here we go. We are going to make some decorative um, wax paper that you can use to wrap baked goods uh, or anything else of a food nature that you are going to be giving away to friends, family, etc. And uh, what you need to do to start off with is please rip off one piece of wax paper and you're to make it a little bit larger than the tissue paper that you've already cut. I found uh, through trial and error that it's a lot easier to cut your tissue paper first into long strips um, so that the wax paper actually will be able to surround it. Um, and then I guess you can use multiple pieces of this lovely decorative wax paper if you have something large to wrap. So that's what we're gonna do for starters. We're gonna rip off the uh, bottom piece. We're gonna lay our lovely top piece on top. And then you're going to rip off another piece of wax paper that you're going to lay right on top of everything. Kind of like a really neat tissue paper sandwich. Okay, so next, now that you have all of this done, you are going to take your hot iron, and please keep in mind, um, I'm doing this on top of my granite countertop. You can obviously do this on top of an ironing board. Um, the only thing I say is don't put anything on top of the wax paper other than your iron. And you're just gonna have to trust me that the wax paper is not going to melt all over your iron. Um, I've done this before, I'm a trained professional. So then all you have to do is take your iron and I want you to put it down onto your wax paper and your tissue paper and a nice long strokes, <laughs> 50 shades of ironing. Um, you're going to actually iron the wax paper onto your tissue paper, making a nice seal and carry on for all the length of your tissue paper. Okay, so you have ironed your uh, tissue paper in between your wax paper. As you can see right now, this is what it looks like. Okay, it's nice and kind of chunky monkey here. Um, what you're going to do then is take those, you know, uh, intruder uh, weapons, those scissors, uh, to your wax paper and your tissue paper. And you're just going to trim around the edges to make it look a little nicer, a little more professional. Um, just because, you know, it looks really raggedy the other way. Looks like a, a junior kindergarten experiment gone wrong. Anyways, you really don't need to see me cutting all this. Um, so you end up cutting all of your tissue paper and then I'm gonna show you what the final product looks like. Okay, so here is the final product and as you can see, it's actually quite shiny, very, very nice. Um, you can use this, of course, to wrap cookies, uh, loaves, cakes, yada, 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 to your friends. It's fantastic, it's food safe, obviously. Um, I've tried actually wrapping just uh, 
you know, regular cookies or shortbread just in regular tissue paper. But what ends up happening is tissue paper ends up absorbing a lot of the uh, oils or whatever, and it makes the cookies, etc., very dry. So this is a fantastic idea. Anyways, there it is, uh, your Suck It Martha Quickie, tissue paper wrapping, spectacular. Um, and I'm not even going to rate this one because this is just a quickie. Uh, but as you can tell, I'm pretty damn excited about it. So if any of you have ordered any baking off of me or you're one of my friends I'm going to send baking to, oh, you can be rest assured that you're going to end up with some fancy schmancy nonsense like this today. Anyways, guys, that's it. So uh, take care. I'll see you on the flip side. We'll be doing, of course, Halloween and holiday uh, type decorating the next episode. In the meantime, if you'd like to go to my website, check it out, www.suckadam.com. Dot com. I welcome all comments, concerns, questions, yada, yada, yada. And I guess I will talk to you later. Bye. You know, it's a great drink on a lovely, chilly autumn day. I know a lot of you are thinking malt cider. And you would be half right. Because I've discovered that if you put some, uh, some spiced Jamaican rum in there, <laughs> well, it'll knock your ass out until spring. Mazel tov.